hi uh, welcome to tutorial number three and in this tutorial um, we will be covering three things that is installing um, terminator and uh, we will cover some basic terminal commands and um, we will install oh my csh and uh, some plugins to increase our productivity um, and basically this video is how to use the terminal efficiently and now um, before we get into the virtual machine I wanted to cover some stuff so right now the virtual machine is running but when you have the virtual machine turned off you go in settings and uh, system processor you increase the number of processes okay to to the point that is allowed and in display you increase the video memory to the maximum that is allowed and in general you go in advanced and click like change both of these two by directional okay so you can whenever you copy paste something from windows you can paste it in the virtual machine and vice versa and the drag and drop also works okay now moving on to the installation of uh, terminator uh, so simply execute these three commands okay and after executing them you will get terminator and uh, you can just launch terminator by you can launch terminator by press windows key type terminator launch it and for ease of uh, launching it the next time right click on it and lock it to the launcher okay um, and then now terminator is very useful it has all of all of your uh, terminals at one place it's a very organized way of working okay you can split uh, split it into multiple terminals and um, in each terminal the dot bash rc is automatically sourced okay now uh, now what we had to do yeah now we'll cover some basic um, basic commands for using the command line okay so first of all is the pwd it tells you your wo current working directory okay and then in case you want to go in some other directory use cd cd and then what let's go to catkin okay just type cat and press tab tab for auto completion okay and suppose you are here then you go to src now suppose you want to come out so you do cd space dot dot okay it will take you take you back one directory then suppose you go in src again and then you want to come out uh, you want to come out one directory and then another uh, you want to come out again okay so you do cd space dot dot slash dot dot so you come out directly to home yeah and for copy pasting i already covered this like in wherever you're copying it from control c and then in the terminal control shift v hmm? and uh, I covered this point that whenever you have a period in front of a file name it is hidden okay and uh, so this tilde this tilde uh, this refers to the so you see this tilde here before the dollar sign so it means that uh, your your basic path okay um, so like suppose I go in catkin then you notice before the dollar you have the path of your working directory okay so the tilde denotes the denotes the path of your home so 
if you press if you just type cd you will be taken to that main top top level directory okay now you see that's the home hmm? now uh, what next launching the terminal you guys must know control alt and uh, yeah so this one is a pretty interesting one so if you have files opened up you can just you can just copy any folder okay just control c and when you control v sorry control shift v you will get the path of that particular file or folder this is very helpful saves time uh, okay what else for copying using the terminal uh, so you can do this we can just make a file a random file okay let's go to desktop and uh, open in terminal or just go here cd desktop okay so um sublime is not installed so just let's just use get it okay so we'll we have made test.txt and let's just type anything save it okay you notice the file has been created now suppose we want to copy this file in downloads okay so you write sudo copy cp use this r i so r stands for recursive i for interactive okay uh, so the recursive thing will copy all the folders that are inside it as well okay and uh, i think i gives you the errors that come if there are any now uh, mention the file that you want to copy in our case we want to copy the test.txt that is um that is on our desktop so you can just control c and then control shift v it will copy the path okay now the destination folder it's uh downloads okay so just write down and press tab enter your password and now let's check if the file has been copied or not see so the file has been copied okay that's how you copy using the terminal um and sometimes you need the like admin permissions like root uh you want to be the root user so in that case you can use uh, nautilus okay to open the file manager with root permissions and um, yeah so right click or choose open as administrator created file okay so first you have to install so click three times and then it has been copied press the middle mouse okay so it will be installed uh, now now nautilus so now we have like root access we can you'll if you need this someday you can use this okay you can go anywhere you want and then edit files you shouldn't be editing stuff like that okay now now let us let us cover the installation of oh my zsh okay git git deserves a separate video in itself so we'll cover that later about oh my zsh okay so okay that's not helpful <laughs> so luckily i have the commands 
okay so um first let's let's install zsh oh before that let's see if we have uh, zsh or bash okay we are using bash let's install install zsh okay after that we'll be installing curl now we will be installing oh my zsh okay so oh my zsh has been installed now we should change the user okay now let's install the auto suggestions thing so the thing with auto suggestions is that uh, while you're typing something it goes over your past history of the commands that you entered and it suggests which command uh, like you have entered before and it's really helpful it it shows the command so we will see that working okay uh fzf it is is a very helpful to um find files okay and syntax highlighting this is again super helpful to tell if you, if the command that you entered is right or wrong okay so like uh, just in case you entered a wrong command you will know it will be highlighted in red okay so now all of these plugins have been installed now we should go in the zsh rc let's install sublime i hate get it Okay, perfect. Sublime text has been installed. Press the Windows key. Sublime launch it. Lock it to launcher. Okay, perfect. Sublime is amazing. Okay, uh, so now let's go in the dot zsh rc. So dot zsh rc uh, is the equivalent of dot bash rc. Okay. so when we install ros kinetic we also have to um change the lines uh, for the set as such thing okay we will we'll do that so for zsh rc you have to do this okay okay so we have to uh, relaunch like close the terminal and launch it again okay so you'll see that this is not bash this is uh, zsh uh, zsh so just to echo see it's zsh okay now source dot zsh is uh, dot zsh rc will work hmm? now we can take a look inside the dot zsh rc file okay now um yeah so this was one more thing press control windows and left key to 
shift the window to the left, control windows right key to the uh, right. Okay, this, this is helpful. Then, uh, now, um, we have to add the names of the plugins that we just installed, these three plugins auto suggestions fzf and syntax highlighting okay so we have to add the names of these plugins in the dot zshrc okay save it and then reload it press up arrow key two times okay and uh, now relaunch the terminal So you see how CD became green and uh, like PW is red that's because of uh, syntax highlighting okay and we will also have the um, like see that's the that's the auto suggestion at work here because I haven't really typed desktop yet it is from my previous history okay so you can just uh, click on the right arrow key and it will fill the command for you okay and then we have the fuzzy file search tool so this is kind of like the This is, um, yeah, so this is like the searching tool, okay? So control plus R for previously entered commands. So control plus R and you have your previously entered commands in a beautiful present table format, okay? And uh, control plus T for finding files, okay? So suppose you want to find your file, the test.txt. So it tells you the path where it is. Okay. So it's at two locations, download and desktop. Okay. And Alt plus C for changing directory to some folder. Okay. So suppose you want to go to downloads, Alt plus C. Download music any place. Okay. So you can go there directly okay so I hope this increases your speed and uh, what else yeah the the looking the making it look good part we have to install the power level 10k theme okay okay so uh, you do that and after you open the command again the sub l thing okay so see the auto auto what auto suggestion right yeah so press the right key and go inside dot zshrc and change the name of the theme to power level 10k okay now see uh, i hope you know this control plus um, forward facing slash is the command to comment a line okay for some reason this is not working here <laughs> maybe because this is not python it should have worked okay whatever let me just try Hmm, interesting. Doesn't work for that either. Okay, whatever. So, 
changed the name of the theme to power level 10k and uh, we already did this okay so now save the file then go back in the terminal and load it okay uh, source okay now you will be going over the setup here so does this look like a diamond it is not does this look like a lock it does not no x dollar and fatter yes okay so let's let's go with uh, ASCII hmm 12 hour format two lines and solid what's that connection color okay let's go with white and sparse fluent uh, what's that no and yes so we, you will notice that it applied the changes okay so previously it was not it looked like this and now it looks like this so the power level 10k is working okay let's just relaunch it relaunch the terminal and let's go in the zshrc again and you'll notice that uh, power level 10k the the setup that we did it automatically set uh, like saves the things in the dot zshrc okay um so that all of these changes were made and we have this beautiful um and informative layout okay now uh anything else i think that's about it okay then see you on 3rd november in, for the workshop uh we will be covering turtle bot 3 we will be using the PID controller with turtle bot 3 and uh, we will be uh, doing pick and place with the baxter robot okay bye